Hello, hello. This video takes place on day 29 of War 102, an Allod's Bite during a fierce winter storm. The forward bunker base has been holding strong against Kali attacks for the last several hours, but as winter set in, the stakes grew higher. We knew that defending our forward bunker would become more difficult with the icy winds and the long dark nights, and so it proved when the enemy artillery started raining down on us. The first shells came in the middle of the night, exploding in deafening booms that destroyed the earth and shattered our defenses. The soldiers scrambled to their posts with hammers in hand, grabbing any beamants that remained in the bunker as they braced for the worst. But the soldiers were trained for this. They kept hammering away to repair the base, their fingers numb as they kept on repairing. We knew that if we lost focus for even a second, it could mean disaster for our base. The bunker base for now had withstood the storm, both literal and metaphorically, and the soldiers knew that they had emerged stronger for it. We may have been battered and bruised, but we had defended our home with everything we had. And as I looked in the bunker base, I knew that my work was not done. All right, we successfully held off that barrage of artillery, and it looks like we are basically out of VMATs. All right, let's take a look at the map here. Take a look at Saltbrook. Looks like MSA's loot box is gone, so there's no VMATs. There's some cars, though, that we could use. There's nothing in this storage depot. We're looking for some VMATs. Foxcatcher always has some VMATs. It has a flatbed and container as well. All right, we will head to Foxcatcher, make sure we get rid of everything in our inventory. All right, we are at Foxcatcher. Foxcatcher is one of those towns that's kind of a bottleneck town that just stores a lot of bee mats. Almost nine out of 10 times you can hover over Foxcatcher's refinery and you will always almost see 10K plus bee mats in there. So once the wardens take Saltbrook, the warden should always be funneling bee mats to the south to Saltbrook. Saltbrook has two factories in it that can be used and a garage. Not to mention all of these BMATs should be used for building up defenses like I'm doing tonight. Alright, our container is full of 60 BMATs. We're going to be taking this to Saltbrook, where we will get a Logi truck and fill it up with 15 BMATs, and then head back to the front. As you can see on the Logi Ways map here, I'm going to be heading from Foxcatcher to Saltbrook to switch out my flatbed for a Logi truck to take 15 BMATs to the front where I was earlier. Logi Ways is a fantastic website to use. I will try and remember to link it in the description. I would just like to point out that this is an excellent task to do during nighttime. Later in the war, a lot less happens at night because tanks don't want to push during the night. If you want to be useful during the night, grab some BMATs and start to build up your base. Or like my situation here, we didn't have BMATs, so I decided to go get some BMATs before night ended. That way I'm able to do this quick logi task and by the time I get back, it should be daytime. And if I wanna do some infantry, I can jump right back into that. Or if I still wanna to continue to build, I can do that as well. We have made it to Saltbrook. We are going to unload our B mats into the seaport here. Then we will pull a Logi truck and fill it up with 15 crates of B mats and then head back to the front line. I did want to run over to the safe house real quick just to check the map and get the intel to see how many BMATs were there, just in case it was already overflowed with BMATs. And it looks like there's only a little over 300, so we're still safe to travel there and bring 1,500 BMATs. I was unfortunately only able to get a Logi truck with 14 slots. Why is this even a thing? <laughs> So again, this is mainly midline Logi to frontline Logi. I've done two different kind of objectives here. I brought the flatbed with 60 crates of B mats to the front seaport, and now I'm grabbing a Logi truck and filling it with 14 crates of B mats to take to the forward bunker. So the midline objective was that flatbed to seaport, and the frontline objective is the seaport to the forward bunker. Usually any frontline Logi that you're doing is to a forward bunker or maybe a forward relic base. And I kind of count midline as anything that is essentially not the back hexes. 
Maybe if any other Logi bros in the comments want to weigh in on what they think midline Logi is, that would be great. But I think it's everything in between taking things to the forward front bunker or doing stuff in the very back hexes. And we made it back to the active front. No partisans or anything, luckily. We are going to go up to this forward bunker where we were before and submit these 1400 B mats. That's going to be able to help us reinforce this base more. There we go. And maybe a few commends. Oh, yep, here come a few commends. Nice. Not that I did this for the commends, but it's always nice to get a few commends. And we'll go park this truck over here, and that is midline to frontline Logi. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments about any of this. And now to finish our brave story of the soldiers that survived the winter artillery attack. In the end, the soldiers knew that they needed to build on their small successes to reinforce their base for future attacks. Though the soldiers were tired, they kept on repairing the damage and shoring up their defenses. They knew the enemy would be back, and they had to be ready. We would continue to build, to improve, and to reinforce our base for whatever challenges lay ahead. And we would do it together, as a team, with the same determination and dedication that had gotten us this far. And one hour later, we got completely ran over by collie tanks. Well, you can't hold every forward base. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you learned something new about midline to frontline Logi. What is your favorite midline or frontline Logi task to do? Let me know in the comments. Shout out to the 102nd for saying a bunch of nice things while I was recording this. Yo, it's Robert Loves Games. Yo, man. Hello. I'm a subscriber. Oh, oh thanks. That's super nice Mario of you. Mom. Only about 7.4% of you are subscribed. I know subscribing can be pretty cringe, but if you like the video, feel free to subscribe for more Foxhole content. And thank you to those that have become members of the channel as well. Becoming a member of the channel really helps support me and my family. So thank you. Stay safe out there and cheers.